Hey there, it's Matt with Two Way Cops, and I'm here to give you some good news. On Monday the 20th, two days ago, a federal judge put a preliminary injunction on the California handgun safety roster. Stand by and I'll tell you why that's good news for everyone, whether you're in California or not. In the meantime, if you like the content you're seeing here on Two Way Cops, make sure you subscribe, like, share this stuff. The more you do that, the more our information gets out to every other person out there, including people who might be swayed uh, might be teetering on the whole 2A concept. Sorry that you're out here in the garage with me. Um, unlike Keith, uh, my kids still live at home. They're in college and high school, uh, and my office is currently a bedroom. So I don't have the fancy TV behind me with our logo on it and everything else. You get to be out here in the garage with me in the cold. So let's talk about what happened. On Monday uh, the 20th, U.S. District Court Judge Cormac Carney uh, so it's not the same judge who's got a lot of the other 2A cases in California. This is a different district court judge. Um, he placed a preliminary injunction on the California handgun safety roster, stating that it violated the Second Amendment. Or the Second Amendment. Um, back in, so the handgun safety roster, history-wise, has been around for a long time. Um, in 2013, there was a change made to it, and it was signed that change took effect, it was pushed and signed into effect by then California State Attorney General Kamala Harris. Um, at the time, I was writing for a political blog and I wrote an article about the changes that she made, which was the addition of micro stamping requirements. For those of you who don't live in California and don't know what a micro stamping, what micro stamping is, what that is, um, the handgun, is required to stamp a serial number, a microscopic serial number, onto the shell casing in two different locations, one with the firing pin and the other some part of the chamber, usually the breech face. Um, at the time that she signed it into effect, she said it had cleared all technological hurdles, um, which is kind of sort of partially true. It does work. Uh, but it only lasts about 100 rounds. You're talking about a, micro a microscopic serial number being imprinted on firing on uh, the cartridge before it's ejected from a gun that's firing. The firing pin and the breech face, the part that's engraved to stamp that uh, serial number on the, ca on the cartridge casing, on the shell case, it's microscopic and it wears out very quickly. Um, so at the time I wrote an article and said this was a de facto gun ban. Here we are more than 10 years later and uh, you know how many guns have been added to the California handgun roster since that took effect? Goose egg. Zero. Um, you know how many guns have been dropped off the handgun roster? Here stand by a second and I will scroll through. You can watch it right here on the screen and I will scroll through all the guns that have fallen off of the handgun roster because uh, manufacturers have refused to pay the uh, extortion that California charges them to keep guns on the roster. So, stand by, here we go. Holy crap, that's a lot of guns. Um, we're talking hundreds of guns have fallen off the roster. So, the judge placed a stay, or placed an injunction on the handgun roster. However, he gave the state two weeks to appeal. So the injunction doesn't take effect for another week and a half now. Um, what that will mean at the time when it does take effect is that California is no longer going to be able to enforce the handgun safety roster, which means all the guns that are legal in the rest of the United States for purchase will now be available in California. California Attorney General Rob Bonta, um, in, his, uh, in his defense of this, stated that um, the California handgun roster, along with all of the other California's gun laws, manages to keep people safe. To quote him specifically, he says, The fact of the matter is, California's gun safety laws save lives, and California's Unsafe Handgun Act is no exception. Problem is, there's absolutely no way to prove that, and he knows it. He's just defending it because that's his job. So, if this handgun safety roster keeps people safe, I have a question for you. Why is every law enforcement agency in the state of California exempt from the handgun safety roster? If 
the guns that law enforcement uses, back when I was still working cop in California, um, the guns that I carried uh, the last half of my career were not on the California handgun safety roster. I carried a Glock, a Gen 4 Glock, and a Gen 5 Glock. Neither of those are illegal for sale in California. The only Glocks you can buy in California are Gen 3 Glocks. Glock still makes the Gen 3 just because they sell so many guns in California. But if you go outside of California, you're not going to find Gen 3 Glocks in a gun case anywhere because nobody wants them. They're a very old design. Gen 4 made some improvements and Gen 5 made significant improvements, um, both to the functionality of the firearm and the safety of the firearm. So the, the handgun safety roster has absolutely nothing to do with handgun safety. Take a couple examples here that I looked up real quick. Um, and I knew this one off the top of my head, LAPD, they, uh, they issued the FN 509, not on the California safety roster. LA Sheriff issues the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0, not on the approved handgun safety roster. California Sheriff's, I'm sorry, Sacramento Sheriff's Department, where I used to work, they issued Gen 5 Glocks. At the time that I was working, they were issuing Gen 4s, pretty sure they went to Gen 5s uh, about the time I retired. Um, SAC PD, Gen 5 Glocks. I don't know of a single agency in California that issues a handgun that is on the California approved handgun roster. If you're a cop out there and you work for an agency that does, please let us know in the comments. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's not a single agency that issuing guns that are on the, the safety roster. So this is good news for California. This is good news for everywhere else because there's other states that are trying to implement the same kind of BS that California has done. Rob Bonta is going to appeal this because that's what California does. Um, they're going to push gun control no matter what they can do or know what the courts tell them. So we can expect it to be appealed. Um, it's, I have no doubt that it will eventually fall. Um, it's just going to see, we have to see how long it takes for the appeal process. But this is one step closer to getting rid of that, um, and that will be good for everybody. So again, if you like the channel, if you like the content you're seeing here, like, share, subscribe, smash that like button, all that good stuff.